I know that many of you is falling in love into watercolors, slowly but surely uh, trying out. But also, many of you is still afraid of breaking a blank page when it comes to watercolors. So I hope this exercise today will show you how fun and how easy it is. Uh, exercise for everyone, whether you're beginner or whether you a, a long time painter. I'm sure that you will enjoy this. Uh, I have a watercolor paper here and I'm gonna place some uh, place some tape over because I want to make sure that it will stay in place and it's not gonna be up high when I will be adding more water and more water and more water because we will use quite a lot of water today. and. I do hope that you will um, pause the video, grab your watercolors and create exercise, this exercise with me, do this exercise with me. I have tried uh, this trick uh, of touching like, uh, in, like, you know, doing like this on my trousers so the, um, the tape is not that sticky and hopefully it's not going to rip off my paper. This is the trick many of you have mentioned to me. You can even see a little blue do blue papers, the uh, bits there. So, to start off we need uh, to do some circles. Mm, I have this plastic uh, stencil, it's rural, ruler, it's from Emily. I'm gonna use that and I will uh, use it for my circles and I'm gonna be adding using very delicate uh, pencil. It's Emily's as well. <laughs> We share our products, although she obviously would love to have more. <laughs> obviously, she would be uh, delighted to use mine. So I'm glad she's sharing her own. Do you know? I've said it before in one of the video. It's the case that I'm always in a look for uh, for rulers or for. Uh, pencils, all sorts of pencils and for for the look for uh, um, them things for cleaning rubbers, yeah it's never enough we never have enough okay, I'm just adding random circles and I hope to <clears throat> maybe this one as well, will I try? yeah, big one Mm -hmm. Maybe here as well. <clears throat> okay. And some smaller one maybe here. No. I think that's kind of plenty. Well. <laughs> well. <clears throat> Hard to stop, isn't it? Okay. That's definitely it. My next step will be to... You can use some plastic stencil if you have, like, you know, for mixed media art. Absolutely go for those. <clears throat> I'm gonna use some watercolor paints and those are from Jane Davenport. <clears throat> those are from Prima. Pastel Dreams. I really like those. And another one, Tropicals. I'm not sure which colors I'm gonna go for, but I have them sprayed <clears throat> so we can we can try and we can see what we like best. Um, what I will do now, I will be adding colors somewhere around my circles. I'm gonna be quite gentle on it. And my next step will be to lift it and move it with my water and brush. As you can see, this should move more. Maybe I didn't add that much pigment, I don't know. Maybe I should add more water and we try again just a little bit. Yeah, so back again, and I would hope that maybe this would fly nicely with it. Yeah, there you go. Can you see how I'm dragging? Uh, I will repeat myself, I am showing you ideas. But I'm not, I don't have a great knowledge about watercolors yet. I'm learning and I'm encouraging you to learn. And like there's this saying, every professional was a pro 
uh, was a uh, amateur someday, right? So if you never will try your hand on things, you will never know whether something is for you or not, and so on and so on. So by saying that, I'm trying to show you that only by trying you will learn and by trying you will see whether something is for you. I love what I'm saying right now <clears throat> and I will add some maybe blue here. It's good to have a f n nice tip here around roughly so that way we can basically have it very precise around the circle and you can see how nicely the color is already moving of course if <clears throat> if your um look how this goes i don't know if it's a technique and if it is what's the name of it i just don't know can you see how much this is loving together and moving and stuff so yes that's kind of <clears throat> the idea for this I'm gonna do same here. I'm using my right hand because I don't know. I feel that <laughs> chance my arm and use my right hand. Why not? <clears throat> okay, the circle isn't really that even, but hey, it's okay. Oops, it's definitely not even now. It's actually why do I worry about no? It doesn't have to be even. That's it. Stop it, Marta. It's fine. It does not have to be so perfect. That's it. We just go roughly. And that's it. Oops. Go away. Water. There. We're just gonna go with kind of circle-ish looking stuff, but not 100% not circle circles. They don't have to be circle circles. Because <clears throat> this will stress me out. For no reason, if I be trying to be so precise, no, 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 did I just out loud blow my nose, nose, sorry for that, it's morning hour, kind of, for me, and I'm in the morning, <clears throat> I always have full nose, I don't know why, I still didn't figure, that, figure this out, I have to do allergy tests for sure. <laughs> How nice is this flying around each other? I think it's very nice and pretty. Mm -hmm. It would be easier if I could move my my um <clears throat> my paper around but but it's sticked so I won't but yes it would be probably easier to work but we managed to do like this I'm sure <laughs> what you think because I think it's looking pretty well to me <clears throat> pretty nice pretty good Maybe some green for a change. Uh huh. Some turquoise. I love turquoise colors. Okay. So I'm trying to move. As you can see this, uh, by lifting the color, by touching where I painted with my brush, with my water, and hoping for the movement to happen, and it does happen, and it looks great, and I absolutely love the idea of mixing the color in between. Hopefully we're not going to have any mock, but if we will... We know better next time, isn't it? <clears throat> we can just grab a different green now and try to try to combine this to 
the other colors. Mm -hmm. Looking good to me. <clears throat> okay. Maybe this blue. Maybe this blue would be nice. so quiet extremely quiet but outside today it's an amazing huge stormy wind it's very windy dangerously windy actually so yeah I hope this will go away eventually as you can see I've added some darker color hoping for it to Nicely move with me, for me. Come on. Come on. Let's go for a walk here today. Together. <laughs> I love, because it's wet, I love how it spreads itself nicely, you know. <clears throat> If you never played with watercolors, I can promise you that it is fun, it is nice, and <laughs> once you start, you won't stop, that's for sure. That's how I see and feel about my trials of watercolors. I know that I bought my paints and they were in on the shelf for oh, at least two, three months before I uh, decided to actually finally do the swatches on the boxes itself, you know? <laughs> Very long. I just didn't think it will be my thing. But you shouldn't be saying never, because it is my thing now. I love it equally as mixed media, art journaling and all. I think this could be all done uh, together. I hope used together, you know? <clears throat> I think we don't have any yellow, by the way. And yellow would be nice, I think. Maybe here. Mm-hmm. Why not? Yellow is nice. <laughs> yellow and maybe... Oops. Maybe... Yellow from a different brand. Like orangey yellow. Kind of. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, recently I uh, um I have left my pain my brush in the water in the water kind of container and someone made a kind comment saying don't do it and yes I'm going to repeat that after that person don't do it because the bristles will get destroyed I just did it but I forgot uh, that I did it I didn't concentrate because I guess when you paint and talk and blah blah it's harder to think of what you're doing by the way so thank you for that comment and letting me know yes bristles are important like you're buying a, an expensive or or not but you're buying spending money on your brushes especially if you spend a bit of good money on the more expensive one you want them to work for you and they want if you will keep them in the water and they will lose its shape so yes do not ever leave your brushes in the water like that no it's a no thing no go Thankfully nothing happened to my bristles, but yes, it would be a shame to uh, to lose your beautiful brushes. Okay, I think we're fairly done here. What do you think, guys? It looks amazing to me. I absolutely love it. It was a very fun, it is still a very fun thing to play with. And... I would love you to try it because um, certainly we're not. If you're not a pro, without trying, you will never be. <laughs> so I encourage you to try, experiment, and see what's possible to be done. What could be nice and stuff like that. So, 
Same as me, I'm trying my hand on all sorts of watercolor painting. And swatches are great. Do the swatches if you're not too sure which direction to go with your watercolors. But this exercise, I think it's fabulous for all the beginners. And if you make that uh, sort of painting, circles or whichever, please tag me uh, on your social media. I would love to see it. I would love to love it, liken it and be proud of you. Please, please, please uh, let me know about your attempts. I, I, till now I should thank you for all of those who already did and I am always trying to find you and at least like your pro project if there's so many of you. So yes, I'm always feeling very privileged and blessed knowing that some of you felt inspired and decided to to use my ideas, my techniques. Okay, I think we are done here and what I'm gonna do now, I will dry it and add something else. Mm, painting is nearly dry. Of course you could use masking fluid uh, instead of uh, worrying about how well done are the circles, uh, you could use that. Uh, this was done with masking fluid so I painted thank you first, let it dry and paint over it. You can paint on top of that. When everything is dry it again after coloring you just rip off the masking fluid and you're left with impression with something like that. So you could use that but since I wanted you to understand that you can do plenty without spending much that's it. <laughs> Another thing is, um, I've showed you a beautiful pen which is an uh, elegant writer and it's somewhere here. Um, oh, where is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't find it. I have it. Uh, I showed you elegant writer and it's a magical thing because it paints, it paints and it bleeds uh, when you add water. So have a look at that. and you can just do interesting things and um, you can add water and it will beautifully spread and it will just give you this nice look and when it dries, it dries actually, the black one dries into color because it dries into pinkish, greenish bluish kind of two three tones yeah that kind of way but since some of you may not be able to purchase it because it's expensive or because you you they won't ship it or something this is from Lidl the pound store the discount that the grocery store really it's just an ordinary pen and I've tested it and I was very curious will it work with add, when add water and it does work look it does work indeed it has only one shade but that's actually no problem uh, I will show you two paintings um, that I've done one with this one with that of faces and you can see the difference I found it um, so this one is made with the cheap no branded um, pen but a black one which is this one and this drawing was done with, sorry, with the blue one as you can see and now those, all of those were done with um, Elegant Writer which is this one, sorry, how to, how to show you to show you, <laughs> like this. So you can see how different and how similar at the same time they are regards this size of the girls and their features and all what I'm saying about the color wise and all so this has bleeds into pinkish and gray and all the professional uh, elegant writer this one is with the blue one plus watercolor and this one my favorite actually funny enough well those two are my favorites which means they're not with the professional made <laughs> tools and this bleeds after after a while to kind of brownish so there is a second tone can you see it's it's here and it's there so anyway my my question is have you tried your pencils try your pencils let me know if you found a cool pencil that could be 
leading to some sort of um, um, surprising, surprising effects. So my next step will be to actually go back with my. Ah, that's that got smaller now. Will I? Will that make a nice effect or not? I'm not too sure, <clears throat> but I will try it. I will try it anyway. Let's see. It could be complete disaster. But I wanted to give this extra... Hmm. I'm not too sure what I prefer with the outline or not. That's, that's the, for definite. I like both, maybe. Maybe we don't need the outline that much, to be honest, because still outlining and giving this, it's also making this not so even, so no, there's no point. The only thing that it's darker, which is nice. Ah, but I think I'm going to leave it as it is. My idea was good, but maybe not the best. I leave it. I leave it as it is, for sure. I think we could finish it that. Uh, what do you think? Could we add something else to it? I have some idea. Do you know what we could do? We could take a very thin, uh, very, very thin permanent uh, pencil, pen, and we can just make this kind of yeah. I love that. So it's very delicate. Now <clears throat> I can try and get the size bigger. Loosen up your hand when you do that. <clears throat> Sorry. That's it. Ah, now I prefer that. Something was not for me good because we lost the circle shape, I think. Kind of now making circles like this, it gives me this definition that I was missing. Although it's not so even and stuff, but I much more prefer now. I hope you, you can understand without much of me explaining why I felt like this. I hope you can relate to what I see. I love that. Another thing that I would love to do definitely is add some white. Before adding white, I thought to do a little bit of doodle. <laughs> a little bit of doodle. So now the harsh, uneven lines and all, whatever was bugging me, is gone now. If you know what I mean. I'm not really bothered with how many circles I will do, how big, how often, what sort of, uh, dim not dimension, what sort of, when, which circle is added. I don't really pay attention to that. I'm trying to make this as random as I can. I'm not looking, as you can see, I'm quite rushing in terms of to not overthink anything. Because sometimes, now this is wet, so this is giving me... <laughs> this, uh, I'll do that. Sometimes when you look on your project, you overthink it. Don't look at it. Even cover it. And then you will see that, you know, sometimes, of course, it's by covering or by being brave, sometimes it can end up looking awful, basically. But that's okay. You will have a next time, you know? You will do something pretty or not next time. And here. So, how is that? I love it. Woohoo! I really enjoyed that now. Love, love, love it. What else? Let me think out loud what else could be done here because I want this to be destroyed in any way or something. I, I, let me think, white, I said white. 
let's add some white dots and I have you can make your white dots from gesso or from white acrylic paint you can make your white dots from so many products don't feel limited to any particular one no do you love what I love here it's abstract it's random it's easy yet it's really it looks very complex I think but yet it's really achievable for everyone please promise me to try please promise me to try I was tr I was thinking quite a long for the project that could be for everyone that will be interesting and if you have the very cheap school paints or cheap school paints or cheap or expensive it doesn't matter please try whatever paints you own give a chance and play with me because you'll be surprised with the effect. Do you remember galaxy painting that many of you have tried or dandelions uh, painting with the um, with the what's the word a roller toilet paper rolls dandelions painting everyone loved dandelion painting including me we should do some more dandelions maybe watercolor dandelion something something for sure <clears throat> now time for splashes a proper splashes right I love that so much and if you dislike my singing skip to the next video because when things starts to work for you you love it, you're happy, you enjoy it and don't be shy of being happy with your achievements there we go I'm done and dusted here da -da -da -da. finished, finished, finished what you think? was it good? was it fun? was it easy? let me know please tag me in your projects in your videos in your uh, photos in everything please do let me know your thoughts on it and try it promise me to try it I would love to hear from you have you got watercolors? did you buy any recently? have you tried them? what's your opinion? share and let me know let others know let's have a conversation under this video and see how others are thinking about this so thank you so much everyone for watching thank you for all your beautiful support to my videos my person as well and for your kind words reading those it's like a balm for your heart it's giving me a push for keeping keep on creating making new things for you because I know that you deserve that and we are a perfect click match here two puzzles that works great together I love teaching you here to learn, you here to support and to gain as much as you can for yourself. So thank you so much everyone. I have a bit of more time now, I hope <laughs> it can change. Uh, so I would love to make more videos soon for you uh, on a different topics. Let me know what you would love to see. I will, uh, I, it will help me to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Of course I didn't show you <laughs> when it's uh, when it's no tape. It destroyed a little bit of my paper, that's okay. The blue tape they say, they, they I mean plenty of you friends here from my channel say blue tape is for painters, it's the best thing. I don't own it yet, uh, so I use masking tape. Well, if you're not selling those, it's okay, but it did rip off a little bit of my paper. I don't mind that, I don't mind. So that's how it looks. I, I was just thinking, do I need a title? I actually don't feel that this needs any title. It's abstract circle, beginner's basic, break the blank page for watercolor piece. I hope you loved it as much as I did. Thank you so much again. Bye! Bye-bye! <laughs>